day 85 and we're off hiking again after uh, stopping into Pauling. Technically Bel Air, New York, since uh, the hotel was uh, there, since the other one was booked. Um, but it was a pretty good stay. It was a nice rest to kind of like uh, reset, shower, clean clothes and stuff like that. But it's all good. And uh, yeah, to kind of kick up our feet, eat a lot of calories. Uh, much needed after being on the trail a lot for uh, almost a full week out here in uh, the rain and heat and stuff. Oh yeah, also I got a little nymph tick on my leg that I had to pull out yesterday after seeing it um, after getting a shower. Um, there was so much dirt on my legs I couldn't tell uh, what it was until I uh, got all the dirt off and I realized that there was a tick in my leg. but. It was easy to pull out, and uh, I don't think it was in there that long because it was pretty easy to take it out and everything. I just used my uh, tweezers for my Swiss Army knife. So, I think I'm good. Just got to keep checking my legs and wonder how many uh, ticks I actually haven't caught. Uh, hopefully, I uh, haven't missed any. Uh, don't want Lyme disease. And uh kind of shows that I need to respray my clothes soon or else uh, I'm just gonna get more of them so, next Walmart or something I'll buy it and uh, spray my clothes and dry them off I just didn't get a chance in uh, Port Clinton like I wanted to so next time yeah uh, huh yep we're out on the marsh again uh, still in New York. We'll be uh, touching Connecticut a little bit, then hopping back to New York. A lot of uh, these cattails here. It's uh, it's not too hot, but it's kind of humid. But also the uh, the terrain has been pretty flat so far, even though we'll be getting some climbs uh, coming up here uh, in a few hours. But, and then again, only 18 miles for today, so it's not going to be too bad. We'll manage. <sighs> By then they'll know what it is. And it's more of a psychological barrier than it is an uh, actual physical barrier. And Just climbing up. Like Here on the, uh, into the pastures. Yeah. It's been a while since, uh, geez, since, uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Nice little hut thing over there. Come up here. Hey, there's the cows. Moo. Moo. Hello. Hello. Moo. Fireman. They're gonna charge us. Moo. Eh, they're not going to attack. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Filming the sign. Yep. How deep can we go? Welcome to Connecticut. Nice, man. I really yeah. feel like a New Englander. New Englander. New Englander. New Englander. Go Pats! Yeah. <laughs> uh, bugs, they're getting to me. Yeah, so, it's a pretty nice day out today. Uh, probably in the 70s. And uh, it hasn't rained yet, so that's kind of nice. Um, uh, I'm really enjoying the day. It's like pretty casual knowing that we don't have to do over 20 today. And, uh, I'm enjoying it. We got this uphill, 500 feet, and then we got a thousand foot uphill that we got to do before camp. So I think we're all doing well. We're all, you know, um, pumping out uh, 25 miles a day pretty easily without uh, too much struggle. And so 
have faith in all of us to be able to do that. And it's only like three days of food, so we're not carrying too much food either. Pretty uh, short in between here, between here and uh, Great Barrington uh, town. It seems really nice, like a lot of stuff there. And I'm hoping to, uh, maybe with the beard, but shave the, uh, the, uh, my hair, get a haircut. The beard, I don't know. I think it just needs groomed. It's getting like messy. Same with the, uh, the mustache needs like trimmed. But other than that, yeah, I definitely really want a haircut because it makes me sweat more and it's just a pain to deal with. So I haven't cut my hair on the whole entire trail yet. So maybe, just maybe, I'll find a barber there to cut my hair. We'll see. Now, well, got more up to do, so see you soon. 10 Mile River. Whoa. And uh, we got an uphill. Some beautiful views. And the bugs everywhere. Hey, porcupine. Yeah, sure. Just pet it. There it goes. Do do do. Just walling off. Can they shoot them things? Uh, no. They have to hit you. They can. You can go up and touch them, and then they'll uh, they'll release their quills in you. But they don't really spray them. Like he he is kind of scared. They're really shy.